Hi, welcome to The Pursuit of Truth. It is the 6th of September 2018 and I was just listening to uh, Jamie Brown on YouTube and uh, he was talking about Coronation Street, amongst other things, um, where they had, uh, where they talked about Flat Earth and it was between Kirk and his wife and Daniel and Ken Barlow. Um, actually, I'm not sure if Daniel's surname is Barlow, I know it's his son. Anyway, so um, Kirk and his wife, obviously, they're almost shown as... They're, their characters are like the, 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 the not-so-bright characters, I'm trying to put that politely. Um, so it's no, <laughs> no surprise that they're the ones that are championing Flat Earth. I'm sure if they do it in EastEnders, it would be the Taylor family or, you know, the, the relevant, the same relevant uh, type of character. And the, the people defending it were obviously Daniel, who was a university student, who was considered, like, really brainy, and his father, Ken, who's the longest uh, running member on Coronation Street and the longest running actor to ever be in a soap on TV. And uh, so he's you know, saintly Ken, isn't it? So he's very establishment. Um, so yeah, it was, <laughs> it is set up to, in, in that sense. And um, there, there, were, there were some concessions like Daniel sort of didn't know why the, the things were, you know, why he believed in what he believed, which, you know, that, that shows a lot of people are like that. And he did uh, admit to photo manipulation, so referencing NASA, I guess. But Ken then served up the reason for Flat Earth. He suggested that it was a way to, to make sure people checked science and, you know, that you should question it. But ultimately, he wasn't saying that, yeah, the Earth's flat, because that's questioned afterwards. And then gravity is brought up, of course, to, to explain why water doesn't fall off a ball. Um, but yeah, anyone watching that may question Flat Earth, but I suspect because Ken said, you know, it's just a way to question science and make sure that people actually are, you know, not just taking things for granted, but are actually, you know, checking out and then they will find that the Earth is round type thing. So yeah, that was interesting. And then Jimmy was talking about the idea of, you know, why this is being released and gatekeeping and stuff like that. And it made me think about, I think it's something I mentioned previously and also about the last few podcasts that I've done, is that it doesn't really matter to the establishment, I don't think, that much. If I mean, there may be some reasons why it might matter to them, but to the great scheme, scheme of things, if, they, if it was found that the Earth is flat and it was released, you know, and the governments and or whoever, scientists, that said, yeah, yeah, the world is flat, uh, as long as it's controlled, it's not going to make any difference. It doesn't actually make any difference whether it's round or flat. I mean, yeah, it makes a difference to the fact that we're lied to, but we've been lied to before. Tony Blair, George W. Bush, loads of people. You know, our history is, is, is formed full of lies. You know, look at America, the fact that Americans believe that it's their country, whereas they annihilated most of the people that lived there previously, or the, the people before them did. So we live with, with lies all the time and it doesn't change things and we still carry on. So whether that comes out or not, it's not really going to change unless people change their attitude to, to the real problem, which is gaining back our power, is not living the way that we live, is li you know, making sure that we live truthfully in a sense, not, not living, you know, not accepting all these lies, actually putting things right and stopping all this inequality and injustice that leads to all these things. So yeah, I don't, you know, like, maybe that's, you know, I like people will say that uh, these things are being drip, drip fed, you know, like, because Celebrity Big Brother mentioned Flat Earth, now Coronation Street, I'm sure it'll be on EastEnders next week. Um, so, yeah, but more what I'm trying to say is that if, you know, it was announced that it's Flat Earth, yeah, people will be shocked. I don't know whether would people start rioting. I don't know. People probably wouldn't believe it, but if they did believe it, then they would 
they're still going to vote for their corrupt politicians where they only have two choices and they don't really like either one of them. They're still going to keep police stations and governments and schools and stuff. And yeah, things will be revised and changed. But unless we get to the core of the problem, which is the fact that we can be lied to and manipulated and we're not really free, then finding out the truth doesn't really matter. It only matters if we you know, regain it and, and find all the truths. So flat earth is just a, a means to an end, a part of the puzzle of you know the whole truth of all the different things, whether it's false flag, whether it's conspiracies, whether it's the, the fact that you know why there there's people out on the streets, why people are dying of curable diseases and all those types of things, why we're we living in this paradigm, this structure, this system, this monopoly game where we can live anywhere we choose to live. Anyway, take care, take it easy. God bless and peace.